Now, we're going to downgrade the Barger King. Um, I took out all the electronic speed controller um, and we're going back to basics. And in the original manual, the mechanical speed controller was an extra over here. Um, must have been Japan, they were over to the, the electronic speed controllers already and we were still mechanical. So we've got the original uh, paperwork out and uh, I've sorted out a servo, I've sorted out the mounts for the servo, the screws, um, I should have everything correct. Um, let's start getting it together. First things they say is, uh, or I, I would say is uh, fit these uh, mounts. For the uh, speed controller, and being truthful, I think this is the speed controller that actually came out of the car. I've got others knocking around elsewhere. Yeah, this is the, you think how much we extra we used to put in cars. But with the aggro and this and heat, I think the best way to go is back to mechanical. The servo mounts, better get this right. This way up. It's funny, you keep all these odds and sods and bits and bobs, and then sometimes you actually do use them in a Like I said, being mechanical, hypothetically, there's less to go wrong. The only thing I did do on this is um, I had some better connectors and I rewired the uh, ESC with new leads to the motor. Now we're going to fit this part in. And it goes this, this way, so we'll move the parts out of the way. Put in the easy screw first. Because you've got uh, a floating mount for the other one, which you have to use a washer. This is a fixed mount. So we'll put that in and done. And then the other one. Like I said, it's just a screw and a washer. There we go. Starting to look like what it used to. The next stage is mounting the ESC. Let's 
take off the uh, receiver. There we go, and we just use those screws we took out. Like a lot of people, probably coming late into Tamiya have never ever dealt with one of these mechanical speed controllers. Now we've got these three leads. You've got to try and feed down. So tweezers can be useful here. These are sprung tweezers, these are good for work like this. Because you can let go and it holds on. There we go. The only thing is I want to, when I did a test fit, these were slightly loose. So what I'm going to do is uh, give them a slight, just a light little squeeze. I'm not going to go too mad. Now they go on. Now when you fit these, there's one odd colour, which is a blue. So fit to that to the middle first. That's a better fit. And then the other ones, it doesn't matter what end they go to. That one's still loose. Don't go mad when you're squeezing, otherwise they won't go on at all. There we go, nicely fitted. And now we need two screws to go from below to hold that in place. And that's the only two screws I didn't get out ready. So into the spear box. I don't use two longer ones. And there's like just a couple of mounts here. So these weren't hard to fit, but uh, it was just time consuming. The on off switch, that just sticks to the side, quite surprisingly. So now we've got to work out who is who. That's steering, so that goes below. That's ESC, that goes above. Let's plug in the BEC to the switch and turn the radio on. Plug a battery in. Turn on. Steering's fine. See that this is the trouble with the past. If you look, 
too much throw. Um, admittedly, the modern radios do seem to throw the servos more. Uh, but lucky we've got like EPAs. You know what I'm saying? You can play with them, get them spot on. You know. Now look at that. We couldn't do that years ago. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. Very pleasing. So we'll plug the motor in. Well that works perfectly and now I've just got to tidy up all the electrics and button them up into place. There we go, I've got the electrics as tidy as I can. I'm running an adapter to the battery but I'm using the motor wires to keep it out of the way. Everything else is nice and tidy. I even got a little aerial now because the receiver's further back. Um, and hopefully the body shell will fit on it nicely. Yeah, it's no problem at all. It fits as well as it was with the other way it was done. So this is the uh, Barge Arc King we've now retrofitted um, electronics. But the thing is... Works. <laughs>